Today is Sunday, December 23rd. It's the last Sunday of Advent. We hope it's been the best Advent ever. And here's what I want to encourage you today. Um, we know that for many of us, it's crunch time. It's the last minute shopping. It's the last minute preparations. It's the last minute planning of what time and where we're going to go and visit. <laughs> and it can be a time of a little bit of stress for people's lives. I want to encourage you to try to die to your own desires <laughs> the next 48 hours and to live for the good of your wife, your husband, your children, or your parents, depending on who's listening. Because Mary says, behold, let it be done to me according to your word to God. And you'll hear that in the Alleluia verse today at Mass. Let it be done to me according to your word and not my will. It's the same words Jesus will say in the Garden of Gethsemane before he dies. And it's because of Mary's yes and Jesus' yes that the whole world changed forever. That's the whole reason for Christmas. Because Mary gave her yes to God, not her plans, but God's plans. And Jesus gave his yes to his Father, not his plans, but his Father's plans. This is the attitude we should enter into these last two holy days of the year, Christmas Eve and Christmas. If we can say to God, Lord, help me to set aside my own will and my own plans and not get in the way of living these next days in love for my family. It can be a great time or it can be a very stressful time and it's really up to us. If we get selfish, we want to do it our way or have the plans go our way and get, and, and get our will in there, things could get messed up this Christmas. But if we could step back in this critical day before these two huge days of our festal celebration and say, Lord, let my will die and thy will be done and help me to please my wife, my children, or my husband, my children, and not my own desires. I think it'll be a great Christmas. God bless you. Hoy en día es el último domingo de Adviento. Solo faltamos dos días por Navidad. Y quiero surgir de escuchar la voz de María en la versículo del Aleluya en la misa hoy en día, donde ella dice, hágase su voluntad según su palabra. En esa es la clave de tener una, una Navidad exitoso. Es no permitir nuestra voluntad dominar los planes que tenemos con la familia, las decisiones que vamos a hacer, en dónde vamos, en qué celebración asistimos, o en qué regalo vamos a comprar, o el último momento de ir a las tiendas. Y si queremos sufrir la frustración, vamos a seguir nuestra propia voluntad. Pero si queremos sentir paz y amor y gozo, podemos dejar nuestra voluntad atrás y aceptar la voluntad de Dios y morir a veces hasta nuestro propio deseo por la bien de él, su esposa, su esposo, sus hijos, por sus padres. Y, y si dejamos nuestra voluntad, dejar Dios a guiar nuestras decisiones en esos próximos 48 horas, creo que usted va a experimentar una mejor y una vida más llena de alegría. Pero si uno es egoístico y uno quiere como su voluntad, uno va a sufrir la frustración en esos días. Hermanos, abre su corazón, su alma. Sigue el ejemplo de Jesús y María. Que Dios pueda hacer su voluntad en usted esta Navidad. Que se les bendiga.